Hello, this is Tom Mueller. I'm an assistant professor in communication department at Appalachian State University in Boone, North Carolina. I'm also a 30-year endurance sport athlete, 25-year ultra marathon runner, Brooks Sports Inspire Daily athlete, and uh, you may have seen me on my YouTube channel. I uh, blog under Master Competitor at blogspot.com. I've also got a piece on YouTube on my YouTube channel, Most Efficient Running Technique. Uh, if you haven't seen it, take a look at that. I'd like to uh, talk just a minute today. I'm coming to you from my office at Boone, North Carolina. And it's something I've been going through lately. It's uh, the perception of how do we deal with age, diet, nutrition, and exercise to really be fit and light and happy in what we do. Um, a lot of thoughts go into that lately. Uh, there's a lot of new diet information out there. You may have heard of the paleo diet. If you're more interested in that, uh, sometime uh, use your favorite search engine. Check out Tim Ferriss or Abel James. Uh, a couple of guys with some good material and podcasts. But I think what we have to think about as we get older is this, we can't exercise at the intensity level or time that we used to. For instance, I'm 56. Last July, I was the lightest I ever got. It was down to 153, 4% body fat. I did that not so much by diet, but I was running 10 miles a day, five days a week. I was then riding bicycles, and we ride some hard mountain rides around here. I was riding bicycles probably another five times a week, two to three hour duration, pretty high intensity. So bottom line, average four hours exercise a day to be a certain weight, it's not feasible. Some of the new diets out there, it's just, again, the paleo diet, high in nuts, high in good oils, high in vegetables, and some uh, light fruit put in there. You know, there's individuals eating those diets and not exercising that much. They're putting less into it, light exercise, but really focusing on diet. I think as we get older, that's where we need to know, we, do, we need to go. Um, thinking also about quality and quantity. Quality, again, fruits, nuts, good meat. I'm a vegetarian, but many people like to eat good cuts of meat. And, and also, so the content has to be good. Um, but the other part is quantity. And what I've learned about it, most of my eating and eating habits is that as my weight goes up and I get more weight, what's really important is to think about what's going into my body in the calorie count. And most important to that is, is it hunger or something else? Most of the time for me, it's something else. I can be an emotional eater. I can be completely full at night after a good meal, but I park that big, super big monster can of planter's peanuts next to us next to myself and I eat that all night long. It's not needed. For instance, uh, here's a you know a pre-packaged string cheese. The other day I was hungry, I ate that. It actually satiated my appetite for almost two hours, 80 calories. The other day I basically decided what do I need to eat just not to be hungry. I got up, I ran six miles, had a productive day at the office, went to a movie that night, and in between eight, just to satiate hunger, I got by on 750 calories. Now, I'm not proposing that to be a normal day of eating. But the point is, if we just eat to when we're not hungry, it's amazing how little food we need to be okay. All right? So what I'm working on now, again, I gained some weight. I went up to about 180. That's way too heavy for me and my uh, interests in, in athletics and what I want to do with life, my life. I'm working on the diet, what food means to me, and the place it holds in my life. So I'd suggest for starters, do this. Stop eating and eat just to hunger and let the emotions come. You would be amazed. There may be some anxiety, even some terror in the fact that food is there for many other reasons under the nutrition and feeding our bodies. It's, in my mind, it's emotional eating, it's stress eating. There's all kinds of other reasons I put food into my body beyond being hungry. So let's work on that. If you're interested in this topic, let me know. Uh, post a comment, and I will be interested in hearing from you. If so, I'll put more on my YouTube channel about how we can drill down into this and really think about eating what we need to eat to lose weight 
with a minimal amount of uh, exercise to complement it. Okay, thank you.